Welcome aboard as we take a quick look at the new features of the Garmin G1000 NXi for the Phenom 300. The immediate noticeable difference of NXi is speed and convenience. The previous hardware first shipped in 2004, so it was based on a 16-year-old design. With a new dual-core processors, NXi boots up in about 10 seconds, so you can get your 80s right away. Temperature 31, dew point 22, altimeter 3011, visual approach. Maps pan around with ease and wireless integration lets you quickly transfer flight plans right from your iPad. Before you know it, you're ready to jet off into the blue skies. The layout is similar to G1000, but NXi offers a clean, modern look inspired by the G3000. The fonts are bolder and smoother and design elements have more gradients and depth. One new feature is the moving map inside the HSI which can overlay traffic, XM weather, and radar. If you prefer to use the standard HSI with a full compass rose, the inset map and traffic overlay is now slightly larger than before. The moving map on the MFD has added VNAV and approach step-down altitudes, and Bravo shelves are clearly marked so you know if ATC drops you below and you need to slow down. Panning and zooming are responsive, just like an iPad. New for NXI are electronic versions of FAA's VFR and IFR charts. Just like the base navigation map, these charts are fully interactive so you can select airspace and airports for more information. Also new is a compact flight plan progress overlay view which complements the traditional flight plan page. The updated vertical situation display now shows your full VNAV profile with step-down fixes in addition to terrain, and a vector line shows your current trajectory. XM NexRad can now be animated, making it easy to determine the movement of specific cells. Previously only on G3000 planes, another new feature to NXI on the Phenom 300 is Surface Watch. While taxiing, Surface Watch will show you the taxiway you're on and any approaching intersections. For takeoffs, it will show you the runway distance remaining. And on approach, it will show you the runway you're approaching and the distance remaining. And during the landing phase, it will show you the runway distance remaining. When you build your flight plan, you can now select a departing and arriving runway, which will be prominently highlighted on the map. If you depart another runway, which I did here intentionally, you'll get a check runway alert. Check runway. The same alert occurs if you approach a different runway than the one you selected. Check runway. 200. And the touchdown callouts can now be configured to a lower altitude. 100. 40. 30. 20. 10. Also new are visual approaches to almost any runway which creates a 3-degree glide slope and can be coupled to the autopilot. Next up, let's look at some of the changes for communications. Tuning frequencies from the airport information page is easier than ever because you can now send them directly to the standby or active position for either radio. Frequencies are now auto-decoded so you can easily see who you're talking to and avoid the forgot to make the flip mistake. New upgraded audio panels are an option for NXI and they really help complete the package. The volume for each audio source can now be directly set on the panel and it offers 3D audio so the sounds from COM1 and COM2 will appear to come from separate directions making it easier to pick up ATIS while still listening to ATC. The new audio panels have built-in Bluetooth so you can pair your phone or iPad for music, Netflix or phone calls on the ground. Maybe the best feature is that music doesn't mute while talking on the intercom any longer, and you can even hear it faintly in the background during ATC transmissions. And you can now tune the XM receiver using Garmin Pilot on your iPad. Talking about the iPad, one of the best features of NXI is the integration with Garmin Pilot and Forflight. 
I file using ForeFlight, and here is a flight plan from PIE to IXD with multiple waypoints and an arrival. With two taps on the iPad, the flight plan is transferred into NXI. And NXI talks back to the iPad, providing GPS and attitude information. With Garmin Pilot, you can even get XM weather shared from your plane's receiver. And if you have the Iridium system installed, you can now text and make phone calls using your phone instead of using that awkward alphabetical keyboard. NAM databases are faster too. You can either update using Garmin Pilot or by using an SD card. Databases are only loaded into the MFD and are then automatically distributed to the other panels. Maintenance logs are also readily available and can be exported for upload to a head or your Embraer's contact center. Lastly, another optional upgrade is the new GWX-75 weather radar. The GWX-75 is an all-digital radar that ditches the legacy magnetron found in the current GWX-68. It's instantly ready, no wait-up time needed, and the new technology allows for high-definition intensity colors, 16 instead of just 4, as well as turbulence detection and ground clutter suppression as optional features. In addition, the scan width has been increased from 90 degrees to 120 degrees. November 9, Mike Charlie, turn right heading 090, set speed to 180. 090 and 180 on the speed, 920. I hope you enjoy this brief look at some of the new features of G1000 NXI for the Phenom 300. For me, this upgrade was a no-brainer, and I'm thrilled that Garmin and Embraer decided to bring state-of-the-art technology to the G1000 fleet.